we are back and we are in a beta base i recognize the bioreactor for a beta base really uh, not much to say off camera just a few minor tw sort of tweaks i've filled up these bags with some stuff that i am ready to haul out of here just to give you a sense of kind of what i'm planning to do i'm planning to go back to gamma base and then travel in through the Lost River to that glowy tree and build the next base. And that'll be right at the entrance to the lava or inactive lava zone. So that's really what I, well, one of my main objectives is to build a new base. Then from there, I want to explore the Lost River more and more. That's kind of what I thought. If I build a base down there, it'd be a little easier. So I've got a bit of a shopping list on my piece of paper here. And one of the things we're going to want to be able to do is have lots of titanium to build a room. And we'll need some quartz for a hatch. Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave the stasis rifle here. Can always come back for that it's taking up a bit of space here uh, so yeah so I need quartz to make a hatch I need a red coral to make a fabricator I also need gold and grab one gold watch I'm gonna leave this and I'm not gonna have what I need I need lube I happen to have one in here I need two wiring kits, which is basically four silvers. Now I'm going to basically fab everything because uh, when I get down there, it's, well, I need to be able to fabricate a fabricator, you know what I mean? So to make the fabricator, it's one gold, one titanium, one red coral. But in terms of like preserving space, I'm going to fab some of that stuff here. All right, so. Uh, one gold, check. Red coral, check. One quartz for the hatch, check. One lube, check. Two wiring kits, check, check. I need an arrow gel. So arrow gels, come on now. Arrow gels are in a ruby, uh, ruby combination here. So, I'm not sure if I need two arrow gels or one. How much for, you know what, let's make two, I guess. So I did a little bit of cleanup here. I moved my gels in there and freed up a bag to carry with this. And I'll share with you what my bag looks like. It's basically kind of like food, you know. So we're gonna, the plan for this next base is we're eventually going to want to use a thermal reactor. Eventually. But my thinking out, right out of the gate when I get there is I'm going to want to have a bioreactor like this one. Then I will work on the uh, thermal reactor. Okay, so I need a couple copper wires. So I need four of those. And by the way, I'm going to need a whole... I'm going to need scores of titanium. Actually, I need about 24 titanium. The actual uh, room takes up six, so it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, so that's two aerogels, two copper wires, and two lead. The lead are actually to make a foundation. So that's the two lead. In theory, I should get two magnetites. This would be for the thermal reactor. And now the rest of it's gonna be in what we have here. So I gotta be very careful because not all these bags gotta go with me. Uh, let me just see what this one is. This one's got nine titanium, so that'd be 10. Now how much space do I have here? I've got three times one, two, three, let's just say four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four times eight, 36. So that's more than enough titanium. The rest of this should be filled with titanium. And that would be 
If I do that, I have 10 in here, and I need another... Uh, where's my titanium? So I've got 10, and then this would be another, that would be 25, right? 15, 25. You know what? Uh, how much, what, do I, what else do I want to have here? So let's have a look here. What I did here is I put some food. Oh shoot, yeah, I need the food. And how much space does that leave me? It leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Extra health kit, which I don't need. Probably extra water kit, which I don't need. Just trying to maximize my space. Uh, so what other bag would I want to take with me? This one's got all of the cool uh, plants. That was another thing I did, so that's a good harvesting option. So now let's see what I got. Do I have room for one more? I do. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we're going to basically take all these bags. This has got some higher end game stuff like the nickel I have and the one uh, crystalline sulfur and a couple power cells. Uh, what I plan on doing is building one of these. I don't think I'll use the power cell option, but I just like having all of the colors and stuff. So I'm going to want to make that next one a different color. So uh, I'm gonna just take a titanium and I just realized I could probably fill up the sea moth with a bunch of stuff too. Um, but you know what that's okay. Let's uh, see here. I might actually take some food with me. Just in case. So I mean I can put a bunch of this stuff in to our sea moth, but I think I've got it. I'm ready to go. I've got, I'm ready, I'm moving out. <laughs> We're gonna go build a new base, and it's gonna be exciting. So I sure hope I've got everything I need, because <laughs> otherwise, this is it. Uh, did I wanna build anything here? Uh, by the way, the other thing I wanna do, I forgot to mention this, is soon obviously not like right away but soon I'm gonna actually be pulling my Cyclops into the uh, what's the word I'm gonna say here into the lost river now I'm gonna have to go through a different entrance so that's a thing and I was just thinking I actually might want to Okay, bear with me here, because I think what I will actually want to do is I want to have enough materials, because I forgot that the sea moth can do what it can do. Uh, I want to get uh, materials for a battery charger and a uh, battery charger, for starters. Oh shoot, I'm supposed to build a bunch of... Okay, so I gotta build a bunch of... Uh, let's build four beacons, which means I need four titanium. I forgot about that. I want to build beacons because I got to mark all that spot. And let's do this. Where the heck's beacon? Um, oh, maybe it's deployable. There we go. So we're going to build four beacons. I guess we have to mark anything on the way down. Why not? Alright, so how many is that? I think it actually might be three. Three beacons. We'll build one more beacon. And what I said I wanted is a power cell charger. Oh, shoot. That's... You know what? Forget about it. We're not going to worry about that. That's going to require advanced wiring and chips and such. I think we're good. Okay, so let's go. Let's get out of here. We're going to head back to Gamma Base. And then... We're going to build Delta Base. Welcome all systems online. So this is all about building a Delta Base. Right at that big glowy tree right at the entrance to the inactive lava zone. So I'm really excited to have kind of a home base out there that I can feel a little safer about exploring. Eventually I'm gonna build a moon pool, 
which I probably could have brought the resources for. Two titaniums. Shoot. <laughs> now I'm like, oh man, I could have brought enough materials to make a moon pool. Oh well. I basically need a lube, two titaniums, uh, ingots, and two lead. Yeah, so we're going to take Red October down into the Lost River, and I'm really excited about that. It's going to require a bit of maneuverability and such, but I've seen it be done, and we will do it. Okay, so Moonpool is two rods. Or ingots or whatever. I think I have them here. One, two. No, oh, two, please. Actually, I'm just gonna take a couple of tiny titanium in case I want to make outdoor plan planning things. And I also need uh, one loop. And I need two lead. Oh, you know what I'm gonna just bring as well? Lithium. For uh, some support. Oof, I only got two left. Okay, I think we've did enough uh, Philly. Oh, well, that's that. I guess we're, we're good. All right, let's go. Delta base, here we come. We actually got quite a bit of journey to go to get to it, so. so we're off. 11 minutes in and we packed our bags. Uh, there's some other uh, game story stuff we're going to want to do uh, very soon. But for now, let's get this home, this Delta base built down there, and then that'll be it for the back third of the game here, the last chapter, if you will. Wow, uh, what is that? Can I scan that? What is that thing? Oh, it's just a plate. Can't really do much with it. I got no space. Okay. Oh, get away from me, you filthy fish. So here we go. Let's get that pop in. It's awful dark in here. Yeah, there is no way you're gonna get the uh, Cyclops down this hole. And uh, there is another way to go, but it's on the other end of the map. Cyclops will knock it down here. So this was our gamma base. Looking all gamma-like. And I think... Uh, I'm going to pop in here just so I save my inventory. From what I understand, this is how you... Welcome aboard, Captain. That will like, at least save my inventory. Now, what have I got in here? Pretty full. Uh, just trying to think of what I want to put in here. Hmm. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just trying to make some space. You know what? I'm gonna grab some food. The worst thing I could do is go down, go down there, and end up. Being hungry. Grab some water. This is, uh, don't forget, this is my nuclear reactor area. And, uh, it's doing alright. So I got one water with me. So I really basically need food. Uh, at some point, I'm gonna have to. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm going to have to figure out how to get those rods. Uh, I'm just going to put this here for now. Pick these. Really? I can only get one? Do it again. And we eat that. Okay, so there we go the rest of these back so yeah I mean there's some stuff on the cell they gotta sort out there's stuff in gamma here I gotta sort out all in due time 
Let's do a quick check here. A bunch of lithium. A bunch of nickel. Not really a bunch. Got some plants. Copper, lead. Blood. Okay, so what I actually saw was you can plant the blood. Which I think I'm going to do here before I leave. I saw that. So let's put this in here. And hopefully that will now grow that blood vine thing. And then we don't actually have to go get it anymore. Okay, so I think we're golden here. We are all fed. Health H2O. Uh, we're going to grab one more water. Just in case. Be fine. What do we else we got in here? I think we're good. Ruby. Yeah, I could have made a nuclear reactor, but I was like, eh. You know what? I think we're fine. I thought I would try something a little different. Oh, I just remember what I need. I need gold, and I don't know if I've got any down here. I didn't bring any gold with me. Where's my precious? Oh, I do have some gold. So, uh, to make the power uh, connector things, a gold and a titanium. Oh, and I need these too. Event you know what? We'll come back. We're not like we're not going to be that far away. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just so fascinated with fiddling with inventory. It's kind of an obsession, if you will. Okay, get me in there. And uh, by the way, uh, somebody mentioned to me that um, All systems online. as I'm going down here, I need to hang a different direction to find out something more interesting. So let's do that. Straight down, basically. And peel, I don't like you. Okay, so here's kind of the Lost River y thing. So this is Lost River. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put. Um, snuggle this over here somewhere. And then we'll label this bad boy. Come on. Lost. Lost River Entrance. Now, yeah, so what I was saying, oh, there's a river. What I was saying is that if I look on my map, I've only ever gone left, but apparently I can go right here and there's more interesting things. And do. There's our giant cove tree, which is what we're heading towards. So there's some bones. So, yeah, I thought I could use one of these things here and get thermal energy brought over. Yeah, so if I go down here somewhere, oh man, those sc scanner things are kind of annoying. So where is the giant tree thing? It's this way. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. We'll say a clear of these giant skully things. Stop with the crazy music game. So I think this is the way I went. Yeah, see? Giant tree cove. 
So yeah, I think if I go right or something... I don't know. Let's just go build this base. I feel a little more comfortable if I actually have a home base down here instead of mucking about. So I'm really just rushing to get to uh, our icon here. It's actually, this is a little further than I was thinking it was. But that's maybe even better for us to build a base here. Oh, that's better. Nice blue. Okay, so now to find a thermal vent. So there's a thermal vent there. Yeah, so apparently you can get the sub down here. So I'm really excited about that. I thought we could use this for thermal energy. So we'll want to build a base somewhere around here. So that's the plan. That is the plan. Let the base building begin. Let's see where we can put this bad boy. Sure, whatever. Okay, and then we'll build a nice little... Seems good enough. And then we gotta build a hatch. And a bioreactor. Warning, emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. And then we'll plant some things in here. First of all, we need a couple planters. Two for now. And let's see here. The inventory is going to be fairly low now. Oh. <laughs> Relatively low. A fabricator. So let's stick a fabricator here. Maybe? Or not? We'll snuggle it right in there. Okay, so now let's go get our stuff. Uh, geez, you're really far away, Veronica. You freaked me out, Veronica. I'm really excited about this. This is going to be Delta, and uh, we are right at the edge. Welcome of the aboard, uh, entrance to the inactive lava, which is kind of over in that general direction. And, you know, we'll build this up a little bit more than this, but this is just to get us the uh, necessities here. Get our bags. And then we'll go in here. Uh, let's actually... Do I have enough to do an outdoor... Indoor... there and then we'll go inside and for now we'll just throw our bags on the ground okay and we'll see what we have in here nothing we need right now uh, actually you know what we could do in theory is Give us a bit of power so that we don't get all messed up here. Where is that new module? Sticker right here, maybe. Oh, no, it doesn't really need to be. There we go. So we'll do this just to get us a little bit of power so I don't... I'm getting a little nervous here. There we go. Whoo! I feel a little bit better about that. And we'll power fix that. Restored. All in a primary bit. systems online. Yeah, I know it's it's perhaps a little on the nose here. Okay, so that's that. Where's my food? Okay, here's my food. 
so let's put some food in here. Get that going. And then that going. And now we've got some food happening. What else we got going on in here? Outdoor plants. So we can go ahead and put... Oh, you know what? And we can put these in the bioreactor. I, I totally forgot about that. Even the outdoor food can go in the bioreactor. Come on. Yeah, okay, so this is other stuff I don't need at the moment. All right. Let's go uh, plant our, uh, our outdoor stuff growing here. And I think I might be able to just do a quick little harvest. Can I, uh, I think I might be able to. Beautiful. So that gives us uh, four seeds. And then we'll do that one. And four more seeds. So this is going to be uh, what we feed the bioreactor until we get the thermal reactor set up. I think I can pick these up. Okay, and then we've got some more yellow seeds now. And I think once I get it all in here... I want it all to be full of seeds, so I'm going to plant one of each here. One of those and one of those. Get more seeds. Alright, good. We've got our outdoor farm rocking and rolling, and we've got our indoor farm also rocking and rolling, and that's a pretty darn good start, if I say so myself. And I think what we'll do Welcome aboard, Captain. is... Uh... So I've got a fabricator, got a room, got a hatch, I've got a bioreactor, I've got a platform, I've got a habitat. That's pretty much what I had on my list. The only thing missing is my, um, the only thing missing is the, uh, The uh, what you call it, the thermal reactor. All right, folks. So that's gonna kind of get us into our base. Oh yes, I bought enough for a moon pool, but maybe we can make a room above. I'm a little worried about titanium, but you know what? If I get my prawn, oh look at all! I just realized. Look at all this uh, organic in here. Good grief! There is no shortage of organics nearby. This is good. I like this. So, uh, let's put another, uh, wait, how much does that take? Ooh, okay, see that? The thermal reactor actually takes six, no, five. Let's see where I can put this bad boy over here. Ow. Can I not put it somewhere in here? Just kinda hoping I could. Oh. Come on. Thermal reactor. 82 Celsius. Oh, that is hot stuff. So between that thermal reactor and I might even be able to get another one on the side. Now I just have to connect it to the actual habitat and I use these things. So... Oh. Oh, I don't think that worked. How do I pick it up? Ow, oh, this is hot. I thought there was a way to pick it up. It has to show like that uh, wiry thing. See? <gasps> boom, 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 boom. We have a thermal reactor doing what it needs to do. That is sweet. How much? We gotta go see how much power is at our base. We gotta change our icon. Oh, look at you! Thermal reactor. Okay, now I definitely don't need this habitat thing. So let's, uh,. Get this thing out of here. 
We don't need you. So let's see, what is our power situation? Power? We have, where's a good place to read it? Bioreactor giving us 500 and a thermal plant giving us 250. Okay, that is slick. That is slick, slick, slick. So we'll just put all these uh, in here. I think these deep shrooms give better electricity than the other ones. So that is so good. Now, we need to uh, change our icon. And I think we'll make it a house. Or should we do it like a lava or something? Hot stuff. I'm not really in the... Oh, uh, close enough though. And then the beacon color. It's gotta be... Red. Exterior color. Red. And then we've gotta name this. This is gonna be... Uh, Delta. If I could just spell Delta Base. Alrighty then, I am so excited. I have got my first thermal plant in a business. And uh, we've got this thing. Look at that nice redness going on there. I like it. We have uh, Delta Base looking pretty sexy. Thermal plant sexy. This is good. This is going to be our little, uh, you know, this will help us through to the short term. Am I going here? Like, look at this stuff down here. I, I totally want to dig this gold out. I want to get my prawn down here. I want to get a moon pool down here. I didn't realize you can go down here. Ooh, oh, and I can make some other good stuff. Oh, some urbanite, uraniite, whatever. What's this thing? Lithium. Like, I want to get my prawn down here. I want to get a moon pool set up down here. And then we're going to be all set as a home base to travel through to the next section of this game which we already went through recently but obviously I didn't go to it fully there's a lot of good stuff in here actually is there any of that crystalline stuff so we've got some magnetite so we can make another thermal which is nice and look at that big chunky thing I don't need all that gold but it still looks pretty good so we can swim in this blue stuff. What is that? Oh, see? Titanium. Yeah, I definitely need to get Prawn Buddy down here. Prawn Buddy needs to come down and visit. What is... Oh. So yeah, so that's kind of good. That's exactly what I wanted to do in this episode. I'm really excited that uh, we've got this set up now and I'll be able to move further into this game. You know, we're 900 meters down and we have a base. So that's pretty pretty exciting for me anyways. What's this? Oh, nickel ore. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I, I had so much fun finding nickel and I'm like, ah, what's that? Oh, it's just nickel. Big deal. So there you have it, folks. Delta base. We got enough organics down here. There's another thermal plant right there. Oh yeah, this is gonna be slick. Slick, slick, slick. So we're gonna have to get some titanium to kind of build some storage and stuff, but uh, this is it, folks. We are in Delta, and it's awesome. I'll see you next time.